my name is Amy Tidwell, part of the Principia Aquaponics team as a biologist. I'm going to show you the steps we take to measure the system's health. So first off, what you want to do is chemical testing. That involves taking four test tubes to monitor pH, ammonia, phosphate, and nitrite. You're going to want to buy a chemical test that has a color wheel and the time desired of the chemical to react with the water. Such as with our chemical test, we have these little cards that show the color and on the back have directions. So first, what we're going to do is do pH. So with this chemical test, we are going to add five drops. And this is going to show what the pH of the water level is. And you put it up to the color. You just match up the color of the water to the color on the test. So as you can see here, it's 7.5, which is relatively neutral for our system. So it's really important that you monitor water quality every day so taking chemical testing because if one of your levels start spiking or is too low, then you're going to want to fix that. If your pH is too high, you're going to want to get pH neutralizing tablets from a designated store. Or if your ammonia is too high, check to see how much you're feeding your fish and if there's any leftover food left on the surface of the water or on the bottom. Last semester when our ammonia levels were very high, it was because we had excess, excess fish waste and too much food in the water, which resulted in high ammonia. We also, at the beginning of our system, had really high pH, and we had to fix that by putting in pH neutralizers. Next step is you want to weigh and measure your fish, so you can have a record of if they're growing or not. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a weighing device, and you're going to want to tear your net. Second, you're going to want to catch a fish. And you want to do this very quickly so that then you don't stress out your fish. So you're going to take your fish out, weigh him, place him, snout first, because you're going to want to uh, measure snout to the base of the fin. And he's about 16 centimeters. And you're going to want to make sure to put water on the measuring board so that then they don't get damaged and they have a more neutral environment that they know. After you weigh him, and, or measure and weigh him, you're gonna to wanna to release him back into his tank carefully. And you're gonna to wanna to do that for each of the 10 fish. So that concludes how we monitor our system's health and how we measure and weigh our fish.